Good morning, guys. Listen to that. All I can hear is bees and bugs and birds. Very nice way to wake up. Mr. Dakota's in his carriage, ready to go for a lovely morning walk in the countryside. Welcome back to another video. If you missed yesterday's video, we are staying at a place called Gate Street Barn and it's like a wedding venue that's got loads of different on-site accommodation. Yeah. Sorry, my hair is a little bit weird this morning. Um, yeah. My trousers. Have you your trousers? No, uh, yes, I have. They're in the bedroom with a suitcase. Brilliant. George is showing the farm his boxes apparently this morning. Um, anyway, yeah, there's loads of different accommodation here and we're staying at the stable flat. Just here, with a view off the, I don't know what that is fields over here behind me. Um, Coda woke us up at the crack of dawn literally this morning. So we've been up for a good couple of hours already and it's not even seven o'clock um, but that's all good. And we had a lovely day here yesterday. We've got another lovely day planned here today. But yeah, we thought this morning we'd head out nice and early, go for a walk and then come back here and make some breakfast. So that's the plan. I don't think we were vlogging, were we? No, last night after dinner, we went for a walk and we found some animals. We found pigs and we fed the pigs some grass. Um, I'll put some clips in here actually and we found some sheep, some lamb that we probably just ate at lunchtime which feels a bit weird um, but, but yeah super super nice like the accommodation's got so much nice stuff going on we went swimming yesterday as you saw but yeah that's the plan for this morning and then we'll come back here have some breakfast and then figure out what we're actually going to do today but it's just super nice being around nature like this nice little patio area here and we have the barbecue ready as well for later on we're going to go for round two of the barbecue food later on today it's so nice getting out this early nah. <laughs> hey bat coda's talking to all the animals yeah it's so nice but i have to say it is pretty cold oh look coda the pigs are running around do you want to see the pigs yeah it's pretty fresh this morning but beautiful surroundings just fields around us Oh yeah. Look go there, pig. Yeah, the cows are gone. She looks so happy. Pig. No, <laughs> oh, there's loads. Look thank, at thank the pig. You. What do you think? You waving at the pig. What's he saying? What does the pig say? What noise does he make? He's having a little scratch. He's saying bye bye. Don't know where the cows have gone. Yeah straight down to the butchers. Yeah, they're getting ready for our lunch. Got nice and nice steaks today. <laughs> it's a cow, kind of. It's actually a bull, but it's too hard to explain that to you yet. They're massive, aren't they? Look at their horns. It's scary. He loves cows. Whenever we say animal, he's trying to feed them. Oh, he's trying to feed it. Whenever we just say animals in general, he always yeah. goes moo moo. We say what's your favourite animal. What did you say yesterday? What animals did we see on the farm? Yeah, yeah, moo. Always moo. Moo. Yeah, you like cows, don't you? They're your favourite. You want your hats? You want your hat. All right, go on then. Do. Do. Oh, he's making eye contact. Yeah. I feel like I stop making eye contact. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Back from our little walk and Lucy has got the breakfast on the go. What are we having today? So this hob, I can't figure it out. I'm not used to electric stuff. Oh, what? I don't know what my hair's doing. We are having some eggs, some avocado, some bacon and some sourdough. Ooh, beautiful. Making the most of having a kitchen at... Oh, Coda, that's a horrible noise, man. Coda's been sliding this ligger at Mama. But it's so nice um, staying here, like rather than a hotel room or something. Cause it's like, it's just like a home. It's like a country home. Super nice. Breakfast is ready. Eating outdoors again, which. Mama. Mama. Yeah, Coda's hungry. Thank you, Luce. You're welcome. Thank you very Enjoy. much. It looks very nice Look indeed. My so bright. Look at that. So we're now at the stage with Coda where he really, thank you, really wants to explore. And Lucy and I have to make that decision or that kind of yeah, decision, I guess, how far we let him go. Because if we just did nothing, he'd probably be like in that bush and get stuck and potentially hurt himself. But equally, 
when he picks up a bit of mud or a rock or a stone, we don't want to like tell him off or keep him too clean or, or make it seem like it's a bad thing that he's doing. So it's finding that balance, exploring. We're so happy actually that he loves kind of being outdoors, being in nature. No, 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 don't eat it. That is when we have to stop him <laughs> from eating the mud. No, no. Ah, oh, it's all in your coda, that is disgusting. No, 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 no. <coughs> yeah, that is not nice, mate. <coughs> Don't eat the mud. No. For daddy, no. thank you, good boy. No eating though, okay? You didn't eat any of your breakfast, but you will happily sit there and eat some mud. That I will never understand. <coughs> Cheers. That's Coda saying cheers, by the way. He goes, gee. We are heading off now into the town center, which is Guildford, closest town here. Not sure what to expect. I don't think we've ever been, but we're just gonna go in, have a little wander around, walk around the town, see what's going on. Maybe grab some food, maybe grab some coffee, who knows. Ready? Yeah. I'm so tempted to just drive off road when I'm in this car. So tempted. All right, guys, it is a few weeks later, and I'm just, <laughs> I just feel like we're so behind the I think, why are, we, why are we driving for a puddle? I think we're back up to date with videos, and people always say, Why are your vlogs behind? It's because when we go on trips, we like to film lots of videos, but we only upload every other day, um, and it just allows us to be able to look after Coda more, basically, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes us better parents. Someone asked me over filming. on Instagram, they were like, Your vlogs are feel old because we can tell they were filmed a little while ago now yeah. and that is true but yeah like Lucy says it's That's the only the way we can keep uploading frequently yeah it makes it sustainable for being parents and also vlogging I'm so. gonna undo the summer if it's so hot yeah, it's we've frozen. turned all Why the air off the windows? I was because quite happy with them open. Are, you, are you happy with open I yeah. thought it might be a bit too loud I don't really oh, care. It's just like the sounds of the forest yeah. it's nice <laughs> but yeah we're heading into Guildford Actually, we need to navigate as well, More don't mud. we? Oh, good. enjoyed that weird off-roading section of the I vlog did. I could just vlog out the window the thing is now you're hanging out the window and I've only I'm only holding you by lens so if I drop you it's a very expensive mistake I might bring you back inside um yeah we're heading to Guildford Centre now I don't really know what to expect Said that. um I don't know where we're going either so I do need to get the maps up and I don't know where to put in because Guildford's blooming massive we're in Guildford now technically this is fun though like I love exploring in our own country I know we say that every time we don't do it often enough and we always go abroad don't we <laughs> yeah yeah someone on Instagram also asked because I I did a um oh another car you don't often no, see them around right. here Oops, I think my full beam was on yeah it was they were well annoyed at you yeah I'm not surprised um, Code had been playing with all the controls there. Blaming Code, brilliant. I did a Q&A on Instagram the other day and someone, I always get asked, I don't know if it's the same for you, but because we've kind of been doing so much travel over the last few years, whenever we say that we're in the UK or we're filming vlogs in the UK I know or we're say. at home. I know there's two words that you're about to say. For good and settled. No, no, no. for good. <laughs> what? For good is oh, the two okay. words. Yeah. So like for good and settled, we four words. We always get questions that say, oh, so are you back in the UK for good? For good. Are, are you, you back in the Philippines for good? Are you settling down? Yeah. Are you here for good, for good, for good? Are you going traveling like wherever? Well, no, we're no. I'm not filming this one. Yeah. We're just. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. Do you not get excited by that? Not particularly, oh. no, because if it was actually off roading, I'd be excited, yeah. but you've got two wheels on the tarmac and you're just driving through a muddy puddle. So That's not... safety. <laughs> safety first. Um, yeah, when we were in France, people were like, oh, you're going traveling now for good. Now we're just going for a couple of nights. Like, everyone's very set on it being forever. It's like the whole thing of a forever home, isn't it? It like, is. When people buy a house and they say it's their forever home. And like, we get it because that's what most people do, but we've kind of found ourselves in life in this situation where we absolutely love the season that we're in. Mm. I'm gonna call it a season. Oh, this is a good one. I did this one last night, so don't be alarmed. It's a little bit deeper. Ready? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen down there? Yeah. Have you seen down there? I did. Yeah. Did you see? Yeah. 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 The massive ditch. That's mud. Good, yeah. And a pond. We could get in and out of anything in this car. Don't you worry. I'm going to use the term season because I heard a few people use this lately. Like you live life in seasons, and the current season. Oh, it's on the road. We're in is kind of enjoying these smaller traveling trips and having our home base as well. Yeah. So I don't think we could ever, if you said you need to spend. Oh my God, hang on, look at that house. That's beautiful. That is, hang on, stop. That is literal goals. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. That's wow. nice. Sorry, 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 carry on. And that's part of the reason that we do love being in the UK. And I realize what I'm about to say comes from a very privileged position. Yeah. And I understand that, but it's just true to us. If someone said, oh, you have to stay for good in the UK for the next five years. I would be like, oh, I don't really want to. I really love traveling. I really love seeing different cultures, meeting different people. I saw something once on Facebook or something, like a question, and it was this, it said, would you rather never be able to leave your home country or never be able to go back to your home country? And that includes family staying where they are, but it means that you can never, ever leave your country. Like, how hard is that to answer? Yeah, but and e if equally, people... if someone said, I can never come back here, I'd... I wouldn't want to choose that. Exactly. Uh, but if your family could come to visit you in other places, it would be okay. But they wouldn't be able to do that yeah. often, so you'd kind of be uh, accepting that. But then you can never come back to England again. Yeah. Like, it's just... a weird question. Comment down below what you would pick on that one, because yeah. I think if, you, if you're not really that into travelling, you'd be like, well, obviously I'm going to stay in England, like I'm not going to ditch my family for travelling. But if your family could come and see you on your travels, I think I'd go with that one, because I couldn't not see the rest of the world. Like, there's so much more right. we need to see. And it is different for us, like, doing what we do online and YouTube and travel vlogging and yeah. all that kind of stuff we are able to have these experiences because of what we've worked really hard to build up over the last seven years six years yeah so like right now you've seen bits on the vlog of us enjoying our day and stuff but behind the scenes we've been doing emails while Coda was napping Lucy edited a vlog this morning we've been talking about our next trip on some emails as well so yeah. it's like this it, almost like a lifestyle I would say where um, travel is a big part of it but no to answer people's questions I, I don't like it's hard to say for good maybe in 10 years there'll be like a for good we're settling no, down we still go on trips and, and we when we say trips we don't just mean like one or two holidays a year we mean like longer trips and like exploring places and going here and there yeah. and there i feel like we're always going to have this travel bug it's part of us now like um, once you catch it it yeah. stays and we're getting used to doing some trips with coda now yeah definitely um, we're getting better more at that, confident yeah yeah and yeah, we basically, I think it is part of us and I can't imagine like being in a situation where I'd be settling. And I, I can't ever imagine that, but then equally Coda will go to school at some point and we will have to settle and we will only have to be able to take trips at certain times of year. So we've got like a big change coming, I guess, in the next few years once he's in school. But for now, yeah, we're 100% like still moving around trips all the time. Like a couple of trips a month seems to be happening at the moment, doesn't it? Which is so That's nice. I mean, it. we've kind of gone into this new season. Yeah. Where we're doing more trips, which is yeah, so, really so nice. fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go because I need to open that window again because I'm about to pass out from how hot it is. What is going on? 19 degrees. Yeah. It's getting warm. And we'll catch you guys when we get into Guildford. So you see, Coda, years ago in England, uh, no, no, no. people sometimes used to live in castles yeah. rather than houses. Yeah. Do you like the castle? Yeah. Yeah. We've come to a castle, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Are you done? Is the vlog over? And he says bye to everything at the moment when he doesn't want it. He's like, bye. I'm done. So here we are. Castle ruins behind me. A little bit of culture, you see, in today's vlog. I'm not going to let you down. Don't worry. I'll show you the view as well because it's pretty nice. It's nice because Guildford is somewhere an hour and a half from where we live, but we've never actually been here. Wow. So I've just been on the Google and it turns out there is an artisan coffee shop just down the road. So we're going to pick up some coffee. You're not having coffee. Nope. I'm having coffee. I'm going to get a little flat white. That is yeah. steep, man. Wait, it looks the, worse behind. The camera does not do it justice. But we have just climbed down from the castle grounds all the way down here. Before heading into town, grab a little coffee. Good to try coffee shops in the new towns that you visit, guys. Because, well, co when's coffee a bad idea? That up there is the Ivy, which is quite a fancy restaurant. They've got some old, old pubs. If we hadn't... It's nice, 
I've got these steaks to put on the barbecue We've later. Got so much nice food in. I don't want to yeah, bring anything we, out. Yeah, we could have like um, done a traditional English pub lunch. That would have been nice. <laughs> you're funny. Why? I don't know, like, you, you always use like an adjective or something in front of the like traditional or like an artisan coffee shop. Like, yeah, even in I McDonald's. No, it's good. You like. I have a traditional Big Mac, please. You're quite extra. You like add something to something. Do you know why I do? Nice. That? I like it. Because I heard someone say you should romanticise your life. life. I know, you said that the other day. Make a big deal out of the little things, yeah. you know? It's good, right? Good habit to get into. Then you enjoy the small moments in life. I'm just currently struggling up hill in a buggy <laughs> while you're filming me. <laughs> so thanks. How can you romanticise this? Oh look, let's give you a little hand. And we are here. Crema, independent coffee. Let's go. Cheers. So we're finding all the local babies and smiling at them. Oh, cute. This is nice. It's like cobbled streets. My nice sister's nice. husband, Mike, actually encouraged us to come into the town because he's been here before <laughs> and said how nice it was. We were, we were just going to stay around the um, accommodation, but glad we did. Crema independent coffee taste test. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very, very nice. There's an Ivy Asia here. Mm. Ivy Asia, that is somewhere we've been wanting to try. So we've been walking around a little bit and we've stumbled upon a little bakery just here um, and we were a bit too tempted not to get anything and I don't know about you guys but when we're on a thing of not eating well it's really not well and it's really bad for a very long time um, basically it was Jordan's birthday it and it's just gone downhill since then and we need I think after this trip we're going to get back on it thank you and um, we're going to get back on it because it's becoming got a bit of goods. an issue. We've got three donuts for the two of us. Three donuts. Didn't need yes. that. So and nice. also when I go somewhere, I'm like, I'm going to get one of everything I quite like the idea of. Not just one that I want the most. I'm like, if I want, yeah. if I like the look of three things, I'm going to buy three things. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. All right. So can I eat these now? Steak or Steak and donuts. Steak you can have yours. I'm going to wait. After the after, steak. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. The barbecue is ready. We went a bit overboard because this is our last night here. We had loads to use up, so I've basically made about four meals in one. So we've got lamb that's just finishing on the barbecue. We've got potato gratin, which looks and smells incredible. We've got some ribeye steak from the farm here and the asparagus as well. We've got hummus, bread, cheese, olive oil, vinegar, and salt and butter, and then some pasta from leftover leftover from last night and a beer. Mm. Cheers. Oh, that's lovely. Cheers. Thanks for cooking. You're welcome. Cheers. <laughs> Ma? 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 That's nice. We can both try both if you want. It's actually Why did we get three? We got three. <laughs> so after that barbecue, this is what we're gonna eat now. We can't eat all this now, at least we gotta take some home. We can't. Okay, this is my vlog ending spot. The window of light, last little bit of light as the sun's going down. Coda's in bed. We are two tired parents. We're gonna eat some donuts. We will get back on the health thing soon, very soon. Once I'm back in the gym, we're there. Trust me. I've been elongating this 30th birthday thing a little bit too long, just celebrating for weeks and weeks and weeks. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for watching this one. We're heading home tomorrow, so we're gonna pick up the camera again soon with a brand new vlog, but appreciate you watching. Take care, whatever you're up to after watching this video, I hope you have the best day, the best night, best week, year, whatever. I'm not singing the Friends theme tune. See you in the next one.